Good evening, guys. Hope you all are doing good. Uh, uh, this is my first uh, YouTube video, and uh, here I like to discuss about uh, industrial relations. That is uh, the history of industrial relations. Later on, in my coming lectures, we'll be discussing about the objectives of industrial relations, the concepts, the tripartite bodies, everything. Okay, the role of ILO in industrial relations, in maintaining industrial relations, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, before starting the video, I'd like to uh, convey that I will be describing these videos in English and Hindi, which will be uh, much more easier for people who are you know uh, who have difficulties in understanding english so i will go with uh, hindi and english both okay so let's get started oh by the way uh, stay home stay safe um, okay let's start see the very first slide um it talks about the concept of you know a very basic concept of industrial relations okay uh, I will not be dealing uh, in a very broad manner, okay, what industrial relations is, the concepts, the definitions, blah, blah. So, I am not going to deal in that much details. Here, I will tell you in a simple way, what industrial relations is what is In a simple way, because now we are going to history, so before understanding the history, we need to understand, we need to have a basic clarity in mind what this industrial relations is all about. So I have quoted this uh, word, uh, this one uh, definition from uh, Industrial Labor Organization's site, ILO. So they say that industrial relations, it deals with the either the relationship between the state and the employers and the wor or, or workers organization so here you can see that there are three parties into this okay and industrial relation deals with the relationship okay between whom between the state then the employers and the workers okay so uh, one sec yeah state employers and workers organization okay these three parties you need to remember hmm? so industrial relations kis ke saath deal karta hai ye basically deal karta hai jo sambandh hai state ka that is government ka employers ka or workers organization jaise ki trade unions ye sab ka so in sab ka relationship in sab ka sambandh kaisa hai aapas mein uske bare mein industrial relations deal karta hai okay or the relation between the occupational organizations themselves that is uh, the parties within the industrial premises industrial premises mein kaun kaun parties hota hai obviously government to hota nahi hai udhar so the employers and the employees so if somebody is asking you what is this industrial relations batao hume jaldi se then we can say that industrial relation kuch nahi bhai that is relationship hota hai kiske 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 between that is state ka employers ka workers organization ka or workers ka or employees ka okay i hope it's clear what is industrial relations now okay now let's dive into the next slide a uh, history of ir that is uh, see uh, most of you might have heard about what this industrial revolution is all about so i will not uh, go in details like what is industrial revolution it will take me another one two three uh, one two three four lectures okay to cover this uh, industrial revolution so uh, but i hope you know the base you have the basic idea what this industrial revolution is all about so when this industrial uprising it happened so the basic idea behind the industrial uprising was profit maximization okay of the owners so 
very basic very prime target was to what was to maximize the profit okay so this led to the suppression of demand of workers because the owners were least bothered what is happening to the workers they were totally focused on profit maximization okay and this led to what this led to unrest and friction between employers and employees that is what happened conflict between employers and employees because they were being exploited their demands were not fulfilled and uh, why their demands were not fulfilled because the supply of laborers were too much okay and in comparison to what in comparison to the demand of the laborers so cheap laborers were available everywhere so that's why exploitation happened and this led to the conflict between employers and employees abhi thoda hindi mein batati hu that is industrial revolution jo hua tha usme main motive kya tha owners ka aur big big industrialist ka unka motive yahi tha that profit maximize karna hai bhaiya फॉरेन मार्केट में अपनी जगह बनानी है ओके एंड इसके वजह से क्या हुआ सप्रेशन ऑफ डिमांड ऑफ वर्कर्स वर्कर्स का जो डिमांड था वो ज़्यादा महत्व नहीं दिया गया बिकॉज वो लोग भरपूर मात्रा में थे लेकिन उनका डिमांड कम था ओके okay? और उसकी वजह से क्या हुआ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हुआ झगड़ा फसाद ये सब स्टार्ट होने लगा किसके अंदर किसके बिटवीन एम्प्लॉयर्स एंड एम्प्लॉयज के बिटवीन ओके okay? Uh, here you can see i have depicted pictures um, just to make uh, the understanding more clear uh, the first picture you can see industrial uprising is happening then second picture you can see uh, the owner is counting money uh, profit bahut ho gaya bhai then the third picture you can see i call it opportunity not exploitation cheap labor as i have already explained in the previous slide so cheap labors were available exploitation happened then fourthly what happened conflict between these two parties that is kon kon sa parties employers and employees okay now i have discussed about what happened during the revolution in brief okay now pre-industrial revolution let's understand what was there before this industrial revolution happened before people started migrating from their villages to these cities okay in search of jobs what happened what happened what was the scenario before so pre-industrial revolution was characterized by a simple process of manufacture first second small scale of investment third local markets fourth small number of persons employed so now what you can see pre industrialization industrial revolution the manufacturing process was very simple everybody can do it with a little effort then investment was less in their businesses local markets were available where they can go and sell their products and most importantly small number of people were employed remember this point small number of persons were employed now see all these factors which we have discussed just before uh all this led to the close proximity between managers and the managed managed means the employees jo maine factors bataya aap logo ko jaise simple process of manufacturing tha markets available tha local markets available tha aur jo uh, employees the workers the wo kam matra mein the uski wajah se kya hota tha ek uh, manager aur employees ke beech mein ek acha relationship hota tha कम लोग होता था तो मैनेज करना प्रॉब्लम नहीं होता था इंडिविजुअल अटेंशन आप उनको दे सकते थे ओके 
so due to this personal and direct relationship between the employers and the employee it was easier to see cooperation with the employees so we all know that with whomsoever you take your own example with whomsoever you have a very personal and direct relationship okay not via via but direct relationship so what happens during uh, within that you can express yourself you can express your grievances if some sort of misunderstandings uh, happened you can sort it out because less number of people only two of you okay and you can expect a certain amount of cooperation okay from the other party so these were the uh, things happened any grievances or misunderstandings on the part of either party can be promptly removed so kya hota tha jab personal and direct relationship hota tha between the employers and the employees so usme kya hota tha agar aapko kuch problem ho raha hai kaam karne mein kuch misunderstanding hua hai aap dono ke beech mein to wo easily remove ho jata tha to rasta mil jata tha sort out ho jata tha and most importantly kya hota tha state interference in economic activities of the people were not there okay jo state ka interference hai that is the jo government ka interference hai wo ye economic activities jo yahan chote amount mein karte the ye log in pe nahi hota tha okay now see under such a setup industrial relations were very simple direct personal and uh, if you look at the picture you can see the same person is the owner and the same person is the manager okay he is taking care of his you know employees consider this kids as the employees and uh, he is like the uh, father figure and he is taking care of uh, their needs he is settling their grievances everything he is managing also and he is the owner also okay so pre industrial revol revolution mein aisa tha जो सीनेरियो था आपका बहुत सिंपल था कुछ प्रॉब्लम होता था जो रिलेशनशिप था ओनर और एम्प्लॉय एम्प्लॉय के बीच में वो बहुत अच्छा था डायरेक्ट था पर्सनल था ठीक है नाउ ड्यूरिंग इंडस्ट्रियल रिवोल्यूशन व्हाट वी सॉ इज द सिचुएशन वेन थ्रू अ ट्रीमेंडस चेंज ड्यू टू द एडवेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन अभी जो मैंने आपको फेरी टेल सुनाया that came to an end all these goody goody things personal contact uh, good relationship personal relationship ye sab khatam ho gaya during industrial revolution because why because size of the business kya hua wo increase ho gaya business bada ho gaya okay needed investment of enormous financial and human resources when your business is big it is obvious it is quite obvious that you need more investment both financially and in terms of human resources jab aapka business bada ho jata hai usme kaam karne ke liye aapko zyada log chahiye okay aur uske liye aapko financial investment bhi zyada karna padta hai to sab kuch zyada zyada ho jata hai jo pehle सिंपल सिंपल था अभी थोड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो गया ठीक है नाउ व्हाट हैपेंड एंड दे आर इमर्ज अ न्यू टाइप ऑफ प्रोफेशनल व्हाट प्रोफेशनल मैनेजर्स प्रीवियसली व्हाट वाज द सिनेरियो द ओनर यूज्ड टू मैनेज एवरीथिंग यू नो दैट आई हैव स्पोकन अबाउट he was the manager he was the owner everything there was no such kind of professionalism and all these things but during industrial revolution what happened professional managers they evolved and this professional managers it caused divorce between whom between ownership and management and the relationship between employers and employees became strange and complicated देखो भैया अभी सब चीज़ें कॉम्प्लिकेटेड धीरे धीरे होने लगी क्यों बिकॉज ये जो प्रोफेशनल मैनेजर्स आए सिनेरियो में इन लोगों ने क्या किया ओनर का जो रोल था इन मैनेजमेंट जो वो ग्रीवेंस सेटल करता था उनका उनकी बातें सुनता था वो काम उनसे इन लोगों ने ले लिया ओके 
ओनर अभी क्या करता था वो अब बिजनेस देखता था और ये जो लोगों को मैनेज करने का काम और यू you नो know, जो उनका प्रॉब्लम सेटल करने का काम ये सब कौन करता था ये जो प्रोफेशनल मैनेजर्स आ गए थे ये लोग करते थे सो so, इसके वजह से क्या हुआ डिवोर्स हो गया ओनरशिप और मैनेजमेंट के बीच में ओके okay? इसने डिवोर्स करवा दिया एंड अभी सिचुएशन बहुत क्या हुआ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो गया पहले जैसा सिंपल नहीं रहा ओके okay? This new setup rendered the old philosophy of IR irrelevant and gave rise to what a complex previously what it was very simple then indirect previously it was direct relationship and impersonal previously personal relationship tha but now it has given rise to a complex indirect and impersonal ir because what happens when you are dealing with such a huge crowd it is not possible for the owner to go individually to each one of them and to uh, discuss their problems to settle their grievances it is not possible if you are dealing with 200 people every day you cannot you know uh, attend 50 people and uh, understand their grievances at the same time you handle your business it is not possible for you okay so this that is why this personal managers professional managers they came into the scene and they took up this charge now what happened there is indirect relationship between the owner and the employee okay indirect relationship jab bhi hota hai tabhi kya hota hai jab cheeze vaya jati hai then there arises complications okay so that's why situation became complex now okay and impersonal why impersonal because now you cannot directly go to the owner and say that i have this 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 is problems no there is a certain set of mechanism and you have to follow that okay so now uh, you consider uh, like if you are doing a masters you consider that if you are having a problem you will not directly go to the vice chancellor right first of all you will report it to your uh, immediate teacher whosoever is there that teacher will report to the uh, you know authority of the department that department authority will report to the vice chancellor if necessary if he cannot solve it uh, within his limits okay so these are the machinery this is just for an example so this is a very complex because you cannot directly reach the vice chancellor so same happened with the workers and the employees okay now difference between pre industrial revolution and industrial revolution actually this slide is summarizing up the whole presentation just remember these points and you will be able to do good in your exams pre industrial revolution during industrial revolution during pre industrial revolution what happened simple process of manufacture was there during industrial revolution complex process of manufacture then pre industrial revolution less investment during industrial revolution enormous financial investment business bada karna hai bhai third local markets were available we are happy in our local markets whatever we are selling we are getting the profits and we are very happy but during industrial revolution nahi hame foreign market mein jagah chahiye bhaiya foreign markets then a uh, small number of persons employed but in uh, during industrial revolution huge number of persons were employed which i have already discussed okay so these are the basic differences you need to understand pre industrial revolution and industrial revolution ke beech mein okay so i hope it's a bit clear for you like pre industrial relation revolution what was the scenario how people used to remain and what was the scenario in industrial revolution and how it impacted the industrial relation thing okay and how this concept of industrial rev- relations it emerged okay i guess it is very clear this is the very basic you know video i have made about industrial relations hope i have uh, given you a clear picture 
please comment it and uh, the sources from which uh, i have taken uh, i have made this presentation actually i actually rely on books more okay so pehla maine liya industrial relations and indian perspective by pradeep pradeep kumar das then human resource management by gupta and joshi and picture credits uh, whatever pictures i have included these are the sites from which i have included this pictures uh well thank you <laughs> if you like the video please like subscribe and share uh and uh, motivate me to make more videos on this topics okay please comment um the, uh, as i have said this is my first video and i need to improve in that so you can comment me and you can uh, suggest me how i can improve my videos okay uh okay then good night thank you